Have you ever been concerned about a pipe bursting in your house and causing damage? You know, you might be away for a weekend or a couple weeks vacation and you're thinking, boy, I hope something doesn't leak and cause damage while I'm gone. Maybe you know a friend or a family member that's gone through a, the horror of an insurance claim of uh, dealing with water damage in your home and the downtime and the mess and everything that it caused. Or maybe you've just got a rental property uh, that you rent out seasonally cabin or a cottage or something like that and you want to make sure that you can shut the water off when the folks leave and make sure you turn the water on when the, the next uh, renters arrive. Well, I'm going to talk about a great solution for that and I'm going to talk about it right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water. Today we're talking about the Flow by Moen. In fact, we're going to do an unboxing today. We're going to do an overview of this system, a great system. Check it out and we'll start right now. So by now you're probably wondering, so what else does this Flow by Moen water detection uh, system and smart water system uh, do for you? Well, let's check it out. So the most important thing is that there's an app that, um, that uh, connects to, to Flow by Moen. And uh, so what that means is you can control the, the water flow in your home from anywhere in the world, wherever you've got Wi-Fi, you can control it through your smartphone. So let's have a look at what else it does. And uh, so one of the things that uh, I find uh, really interesting about this is that it actually shows you a number of parameters here. It shows you flow rate, shows you uh, pressure, and it shows uh, the water temperature. So if I run some water here, you can see that the flow rate suddenly changes to a gallon, 1.5, 1.8 gallons per minute. So I can shut that off now. But uh, one of the cool features that I think about it is it sets this different sensitivity. So if I click up here, you can see right now I'm in home mode. So it's monitoring the water based on someone being at home. You can go to sleep mode, and sleep mode is where you would go if, um, let's say, you're planning on washing your car or doing a whole bunch of laundry, uh, more laundry than you would normally do or something like that, just so that you wouldn't get any alerts. But one of the neat things is when you go into away mode, so, so I'm now setting up in away mode. So if I was on vacation or I was away for the weekend, this is where I would set it up. So this is where it becomes the most sensitive. So if water was uh, being run while I was on away mode, the flow by mowing would assume that there's no one home. So why are you running this, uh, this water? So it must be a leak somewhere. And within 10 seconds, as you can see, it shuts off and it sends me an alert on my phone. And, uh, so you can uh, troubleshoot it, you can clear the alert, and you can also turn the water back on. But wait to see what happens in just a second. We're going to get uh, another notification from Moen. They're actually going to call us to tell us. And you can see, now we're getting a call from the station. So if I accept the call. Let's turn this off. So it's telling us now that there was a potential issue. And again, if you were away, this is information you'd like to know is that there was an issue, but that flow by Moen shut off your water. So once you've uh, checked it out and let's say you know, oh, the, that uh, I want to clear the alert, then you just press down here, clear the alert, and no send me alerts because we want to keep it being monitored. It goes back into the system. So we turn the water back on. And as you can see, it all goes back to normal and it uh, continues to monitor. So typically you'd have this set on home mode. So if we click on here and we go into home. So now it's on home mode. So in home mode, if all of a sudden there was a lot of water usage that wasn't typical, like maybe during the day it's monitored your water usage and it's found that you're not typically home during the day, there's no water usage, but uh, all of a sudden you had a big water usage during the day, it would let the water run for five minutes and then it would shut down the water again, uh, just like it did in away mode, except the away mode is only 10 seconds. But if it did do that, and let's say you had someone homesick that day or something like that, then you could easily turn the water back on again through the app. So what the app does, it actually monitors your water usage. So you can see here, this is my water usage today so far. It's uh, Saturday morning, fairly early. And uh, so what it does, it builds a profile and it knows that when you use a lot of water, when you don't use a lot of water and that, so that it can, it can sort of allow for 
um, different things in your system. So when you do the setup, you're putting in, if you've got a reverse osmosis system, you, if you water softener, things like that. So it'll watch for that and it'll build a profile around that. So it knows that when your water softener is regenerating and it's using a fair amount of water, that's normal for your household. And it won't give you an alert uh, during those uh, circumstances. So it will also detect a leaky faucet. So let's say um, you've got a toilet flapper that isn't closing quite properly, or you've got a very uh, slow flow from a, a slow leak, it will detect that and give you that information. So what it also does, it does a, a pressure test of your system every day. And uh, so if we go into notifications, um, you can see that, um, I've been doing some work on this today for preparing for the uh, video, but, um, so you can see I did a manual health test earlier on this morning. And basically what that does, it shuts off the water and it just monitors if your pressure stays. So if your pressure stays, that means you don't have any leaks in your system anywhere, like a very, very slow leak would be shown at that point. But uh, if your pressure starts to drop very slowly, then it tells you that you do have a, a slow leak somewhere. This part here, when we go into this part of the dashboard, is, is the coolest part. So like I say, it shows you pressure in PSI, it shows you uh, f your flow rate, and it also shows you uh, temperature. So the temperature would be an important consideration, especially if you were in a cold area like we are here up uh, north of Toronto. But um, so if, if the water temperature dropped down low, if it actually gets down to freezing, it will again send you alert to tell you that uh, that uh, you know, you're in danger of the uh, water freezing and your pipes bursting, et cetera. But it also uh, gives you these little charts here that shows you the different flow rates, et cetera. And it can do last 24 hours, or it can actually do last seven days also to show you the fluctuation. So we are on well water here, so we have a pressure tank. So that's why you see the pressure fluctuations in, in the system. And then of course it monitors the flow rate here. So if I run some water, you can see the flow rate changing. It comes up, uh, etc. So another cool feature is if you do the health test and uh, you find that there's a, it's telling, giving you a warning that there's a leak in the system, you can repair that leak, but then you can manually do another health test just to check it out, just to make sure that that leak's been fixed, but there's no other leaks too in the system. So there's other systems on the market. And uh, like I say, I, I've looked at, every one of them. I've been searching for something like this for years, but uh, a lot of them will alert you that there's a leak, but they won't do anything to shut it off. That's the beauty of the flow system. It'll alert you to a, a leak, and either you can shut it off yourself, or the system will shut it off itself. So again, the notification log, I think, is uh, pretty cool, that if we go down here, to the notification. So it just shows you all the, the different events that have taken place. So again, I've been working on this uh, this morning in preparation for this video. So I've changed the modes. I've, um, uh, you know, it's telling you when the valve opens. It tells you when the valve is closed. It'll tell you uh, that it's in away mode. It's in home mode. Um, it gives you all kinds of information. The health test started and the automatic health test that took place at 3.01 a.m. this morning, etc. So lots of information here that you can monitor the system. But you, if you could also go here, this is the help center. And again, I thought this was great information here. So you can view support articles, you can contact uh, Flow by Moen, and you can also view the setup guide. And again, it's all right here. You just press the button and it takes you right into, um, right, takes you online right into the help center. So one of the really neat features about the app for the Flow Home Water Monitoring System is that you can have multiple properties on the same app. So you can actually monitor, I just have one property here, so I have my house on here, but you can have your vacation property, you can have a condo if you have uh, somewhere in a, in a warm area, you can also have um, rental properties that, that you have. Or if, like I say, if you have a, a cottage or a cabin that you rent out for a week or so, you can have that monitored on here. But again, one of the great features of this system and one of the great uh, ways that's going to help so many families is that you can turn the water on and off from somewhere else. So in other words, if you have some folks renting your cottage, you can turn on the water before they arrive, and then after they leave, you can turn off the water just to make sure you're safeguarding your system from an, a, a leak that suddenly crops up. Great system. I should mention too that we offer discount pricing and free shipping on the Flow by Moen Smart Home uh, Water Monitoring System. 
You can go to our websites, either watereastore.ca in Canada or watereastore.com in the United States. And we also have it available at our store. So the first thing I noticed was the box. I mean, I couldn't believe how good it looked. It, uh, it reminded me of an iPhone, uh, unboxing an iPhone. All right, so if we open it up inside, um, you'll see that this has some information about the system, etc. And then it has this great quick start, quick start guide. And uh, so step one is download the app. Two is create your account on the app. Plug flow device into any power outlet. Follow the add flow device steps in the app. Schedule plumbing install and get flow device in installed. So super straightforward. Even to gives you uh, time, two minutes for that, five minutes for that. Again, I thought that was a super good idea. So then here it is inside here. You pull this out. Here you can actually see the unit inside here. And again, I, when I looked at this, I just couldn't believe um, how well engineered it was and how well it was set up. So there's a motor inside here that automatically shuts it off and uh, turns it back on again when needed. But it even, um, you can even manually turn it off. So it even says here push and turn. So you can push that in and turn that to turn it on and off. It uh, even comes with an Allen key that can help you do that. It also, oh, this is the cap here for the, uh, for the top. It has a, an arrow here that indicates which way it should be positioned for the flow. Um, it also has a QR code here. So when you're gonna be pairing it to your, to your, um, to your phone, then uh, you'll need that QR code to pair it. And, uh, and then the settings here. But again, I just couldn't believe the build quality of this thing. I mean, it's definitely not something that you'd be ashamed to have in, um, in your home or your cottage, in your utility room, but a beautifully made product. And then if we go further into the box, we can see that uh, it comes with the, so these are the brass fittings that uh, you would use to connect this to the plumbing. And uh, let's see what else is in here. And uh, this is the power supply and the cord that comes with it uh, because you're going to be plugging it into the wall to give the unit power. And uh, we'll see what else is in here. So here's an Allen key for a or a hex key, I guess they call it, for shutting it off uh, manually. And then it comes with these instruction booklets. Just move that to the side here and slide these out. Oh, and there's the O-rings that you're going to need to connect it uh, to the plumbing to make sure it doesn't leak. And uh, so this is the install install guide and uh, kind of goes through the overall procedure of the whole thing. And again, beautifully done. I was really impressed uh, when I had a look at this. Tells you what tools you'll need, what fittings you'll need, um, etc. And it goes through it step by step for the installation. And it talks about running the health test and about pairing it onto your phone. And, uh, and this is a great little overflow uh, booklet that tells you all about uh, the different things that Flow does. And it, it tells you, again, an incredibly well done booklet. Like I say, I was uh, super impressed with all this. And by the way, it's more likely that you'll have an insurance claim for water damage than you would for theft and fire combined. So you can see that it's a, it's, it's a big concern. This flow by Moen water monitoring system changes everything. Not only do you have the security and the peace of mind of knowing that uh, if a pipe bursts, it's gonna shut down the water and minimize the damage, but it gives you so much control over your whole home water monitoring system. But another huge benefit of this, and I think it really, you really need to think about this, if you have a cabin or a cottage or a, a weekend property of any sort, you can turn the water on and off as, as needed to make sure that you minimize the chances of any water damage. Damage. So if you've got tenants uh, that are there for a week, uh, you can shut it off once they leave. And if you have new tenants coming the next week, you can turn the water on just before they arrive. Huge, huge peace of mind and great control to control your property. And to learn about uh, doing the installation, click over here and I'll see you in that video and we'll talk about it there.